Hi, my name's Ross Adams and I'm a PM in the Azure AD team. And in this video, I'll provide an overview of the new and updated sign-in methods that we have added to Azure AD Connect, particularly Azure AD Pastoral Authentication and Single Sign-on. The new sign-in method that we've added to Azure AD Connect, we call Azure AD Pastoral Authentication. We've added is a lightweight connector that is installed in your on-premises environment. This connector allows your organization to validate the username and password against your on-prem AD. In this case, the user enters their username and password into the Azure AD login screen, and then it is passed through to the connector on-premises and validated against your on-prem AD without requiring the password to be stored in Azure AD in any form. And of course, we added seamless single sign-on. With Azure AD Connect, we've had the option to do password synchronization. We've updated this option to add support for seamless single sign-on, SSO. What this allows is end users on domain joined corporate machines to access Azure AD and other associated resources without needing to type their password, just like they would for on-prem resources. The solution just utilizes the on-premises Active Directory and doesn't require any additional infrastructure in order to be enabled. Azure AD Connect now delivers three options, all with single sign-on and with passwords either residing in the cloud or on-prem environment. The new pass-through authentication option provides a much simpler way for password validation against on-prem AD without passwords needing to be in Azure AD. So how does Azure AD pass-through authentication work? Firstly, the user enters their username into the Azure AD login screen. It is then passed through to the connector. The connector, using its outbound connection to Azure AD, pulls the authentication request containing the username and password from Azure AD and sends it to the on-prem AD for validation. The on-prem AD returns the result back to the connector, who in turn returns it back to Azure AD. Assuming the result from AD was successful, the user has returned a token, or if future proofs are necessary, those are instigated now. The way that SSO works with Azure AD Password Authentication or Password Hash Synchronization is using a known authentication process, integrated Windows Auth. First, the user enters their username into the Azure AD logon screen. This allows us to determine if SSO is configured for the tenant. If configured, the reply to the end user is a 401, asking for a Kerberos ticket. The, the user then contacts a local on-premises Active Directory domain controller to obtain the Kerberos ticket, which is returned to them in encrypted, encrypted form. The ticket is then passed to Azure AD Cloud where it is validated, ensuring that the username that was entered matches the Windows security identifier, SID, within the Kerberos ticket. If they match, a token is returned back to the user, allowing them to access the resource. If the resource requires additional proofs, such as MFA, those are initiated. And that's how SSO works with Azure AD, password authentication, or with password hash synchronization. For more information on these new features and updated items, you can use the links below. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.